Admission One Shilling all started back, I suppose, in 2007. I was asked to help program a day at the National Gallery concerning the wartime concerts that were promoted by Dame Myra Hess, who was one of the great British pianists. And it was amusing because a friend of mine was in the audience and got the fright of his life. He saw Dame Myra Hess sitting in the audience and since she died in 1965, that was a bit of a shock. But it turned out it was Patricia Routledge and I think she bears an uncanny resemblance to Dame Myra. And so two years later, I uh, asked Nigel Hess, the great nephew of Dame Myra Hess, to write a script about Dame Myra's life and the wartime concerts. And, um, and that became Admission One Shilling. The setup of the, of the show is that Patricia sits in a, in a lovely chair and narrates the story. And I sit at the grand piano facing her and the light plays between us. And there are photographs projected on a screen behind the piano, behind both of us. And they're photographs from the time of the concerts and they're wonderfully telling as well. Patricia is the ultimate professional. She, she thinks about every syllable of every word she pronounces. She's a great musician. I think she's sung in 26 musicals and operettas and that sort of thing too. I know that she's listening to every single phrase I play. And so it's very much uh, like playing chamber music with a great um, cellist or a great violinist or something like that. Dame Mara was an extraordinary woman. She was one of the great pianists of her time. She was actually a sort of grand teacher of mine because uh, one of her famous students, Yonti Solomon, was one of my teachers. And so I feel a very direct connection to her. I'm just so excited to be coming with Patricia to Australia, my home country. It's wonderful to think of doing this show, which has been such a success in the UK, to have Patricia come and, and do this show that's become very important in my life in my country is, is such an exciting thing.